Hello, I'm Jeff Gibby with MetaStock. Thanks for watching the video today. I'm going to talk a lot about the Ichimoku method, the indicators that are included with them, how you can interpret them, and the new included Ichimoku master in MetaStock 19. I want to keep it a little bit concise. I want to keep it brief. I want to keep it helpful. And I hope it's helpful for you. So let's get started. Okay. But first, let's do a legal disclaimer. This demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock and its employees shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Metastock and its employees do not endorse the purchase of a security, nor are they paid for the promotion of a security. No information contained in this presentation should be construed as investment advice or the solicitation to buy a security. So now that we've got that out of the way, this is a gentleman by the name of Goicha Hasada. Uh, also known as Ichimoku Sanjin, which can be translated roughly to be what a man in the mountain means, uh, means he's. Now, Ichimoku Sanjin, Gicha Hasada, created the Ichimoku method. He actually created it in the late 1930s and used it to trade for about 30 years. Up. He released it to the public as something that um, that is useful in the 1960s. So um, there you go. Who's the, there's who developed it. In terms of using the Ichimoku method, there's quite a few different uses for it. It can give you buy and sell indications in multiple ways. You can use it to determine bullishness or bearishness. You can use it to anticipate future price direction, show support and resistance now and into the future, show the current and expectations of future trends, and show the stability of trend also helps you identify potential reversals, and you can use it to help identify stops. And I'll, I'll try and cover all of those. When we start to talk about the Ichimoku method, there's some indicators that I'm going to kind of discuss uh, individually, just so you understand exactly what they're looking at. I think that helps in terms of interpreting them. Uh, the indicators that we're going to talk about are the Tenkan Sen, the Kinjin Sen, the Senko Span A, and the Senko Span B, which could form together to call the Kumo. We're also going to talk about the Chiku span and the close. So let's go ahead and get started with the indicators. If I wanted to tell you how to uh, calculate the Tenkan Sen, which is this upper line here, the purple line, what I do is I take the highest bar in the last nine days and find the lowest low in the last nine bars. I'd add those together and simply divide that by two. So what I'm looking for is the kind of the middle of the range for nine days. The Kijin Sen is the same calculation, except for I'm using 26 bars. So I find the highest value for the last 26 days, the lowest value, I add those together and divide them by two. So what you're going to have here is the Kijin Sen on, uh, as well as the Kijin Sen. Okay. Now, the way that we use that is generally speaking, if the Tenkan Sen's above our Kijin Sen, it's going to be bullish. If the Tenkan Sen is below the Kijin Sen, it's going to be bearish. And one of the classic buy signals, if you would, for the for the Ichimoku method is having a cross, either the Tenkan Sen crossing above the Kijin Sen, which would be a, a buy signal, or the Tenkan Sen crossing below the Kijin Sen, which would be a sell signal. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Kumo or the cloud. So the Kumo is actually constructed with two different indicators. It's the area between two indicators right here, the shaded in area. This area is called the Kumo, or which means cloud, basically. The two end air indicators that kind of comprise the cloud are the Senku Span A, which uh, right here is on top. It isn't always on top, but in this case, it's on top right here, which is the blue line. Right here, it's on bottom. Okay. In addition to that, you have the second span B, which is this green line. Okay. If I wanted to tell you how to calculate the second span A, I would take the Tenkan Sen, which we just calculated. I'd add it to the Kinjin Sen. I would divide it by two, and then I would plot it into the future 26 bars. That's why when you're looking at the cloud, it always extends into the future. It's actually plotted forward 
by 26 bars. If I wanted to calculate the uh, Senku span B, I'd take the highest point for 52 bars and the lowest low for 52 bars and plot that 26 periods in hand. So the top one right here is the Senku span A. The bottom one in this example is the Senku span B. The Kumo is just the cloud relationship there. There's quite a few different interpretations that you can use for the Senku span A, the Senku span B, the relationship to price to Kumo. And I have listed them, uh, listed most of them right here. So you can use the Kumo and its relationship to price to determine a trend. If the price is currently above the Kumo, then you're basically going to be in a bullish phase for the security. Okay. If the price is below the Kumo, you're going to be in a bearish phase for the Kumo. Okay, that's actually also a buy signal. If you cross up above, if price comes up above your Kumo, that's a, another buy signal that is kind of given by the Ichimoku method. And conversely, if price comes down below your Kumo or your cloud, it's going to be a, a classic Ichimoku method sell signal. Okay, also you can treat the Kumo as support and resistance. Where the Kumo is, is going to be an area that you can treat as support if price is above or resistance if price is below. Okay. You can also look at the current Kumo, the Kumo direction is where is it pointing to help you identify trend, both now and since it goes into the future, into the future as well. Okay. Another thing people look for is called a Kumo twist. That's when Senko span A and Senko span B cross, when they twist. When that happens on the chart, you'll notice that the cloud is a different color. So lots of stuff to do with the cloud, but generally, in general, just to kind of sum up the cloud, it's a huge part of it. You can look at it to do trend bias. You can look at it to identify support and resistance. You can look at it to kind of anticipate maybe future direction of prices, as well as current direction of prices. All that kind of stuff is wrapped into the cloud. So. Um, the last indicator we're going to talk about is called the Chiku span. The Chiku span is a really, really simple indicator. What it does is if you took today's close and shifted it back in the chart 26 days, you would have the Chiku span. Okay. And basically, it's just the close price, but it's 26 bars ago. Now, the way that you read that is you can look at it in the relationship to the Kumo, like we did with price. If you're, if you're, if you're, if it's above the Kumo, sorry, it's collecting my thoughts. If it's above the Kumo, that's going to kind of give you an indication that you're bullish. Also, it's going to give you an indication of price stability as well. If there's a big separation between that and last price and where the price is, it also gives you an idea that the trend right now is strong. And it might give you some ideas in terms of the stability of the trend as well. So there's a lot of stuff you can use Ichimoku for. It was designed to kind of give you a full view of the chart. And there's a lot, like you can use it for buy and sell indications. You can use it to determine bullish or bearishness. You can use it to help anticipate future price direction. You can use it to show support and resistance both now and into the future. You can use it to show the stability of the trend. You can help it. It can help you help identify potential reversals coming up. And you, also, you can use it to identify stops. And it's a lot to keep in mind. And it's a lot to kind of keep aware of especially if you're kind of new to it. And so one of the things that I'm really, really happy about is the inclusion of this in Metastock now. Um, what we have is a methodology that's in Metastock that's called the Ichimoku Master. And it will really help you pull this all together. So right here, I'm looking at a chart of GE. Now I've got the expert advisor over here on the side. And I'm just gonna kind of help you kind of understand how this can kind of help you learn about the methodologies. So right here, if we just look at the stop, it's going uh, uh, the commentary at the top is going to give you the values of all of those uh, indicators. It's also going to tell you what it's looking for in terms of the Ichimoku conditions and whether they're bullish or bearish. And if there's things that it sees, it's going to list those out in price in, in the comments field here. So if we look for a TK cross, you can see that that's bullish. And then we had a weak TK cross signal that was 95 bars ago. 
Okay, the price Kumo relationship, Kumo is above the price is above the Kumo or the cloud, um, is bullish. The current Kumo direction is bullish, and into the future it's bullish. The Chiku span relationship to the Kumo is bu bullish. The Chiku span relationship to price is bullish, and then periods until or since the last Kumo twist is bullish. A Kumo ha twist happened about sixty six periods ago. So it breaks down everything that you look for and tells you whether it's bullish or bearish. <clears throat> but that's not all. It's also going to go through, and if we come down here, you can see that there's support and resistance areas. In addition to that, it's going to break down all of those signals for you. So right here, you see where it, it says TK signal. Now, I'm not going to read this out loud. You can pause it if you want to, if you want to read it out loud. But the black part just kind of tells you what it's looking for. And the blue part tells you what it's doing on the chart. So you can look at the black part as kind of an explanation of what the signal is actually telling you right now, or, or telling you in general. And the blue part is what it's telling you right now. Okay. Uh, here we've got a close in above the Kumo. Same thing. The black part tells you what it's looking for. The blue part tells you what it's doing. Most current Kumo direction, the black part tells you what it's looking for. The blue part tells you what it's doing. The Chiku span relationship, and it just keeps going. I'm not going to kind of go a little bit quicker here. It gives you a really good idea in terms of what you can do. Now, when with the Ichimoku method, there's no official stops that are kind of part of the methodology. But since you're using very key areas of support and resistance, you can use them as stops as well. Because if those areas fell, that's a good idea that the price might be reversing. And so this will also kind of break down. If you want a type zen, a tight stop, you should use the Kijun Zen, which is at 165.10. If you want a medium stop, you should use the Senku Span A, which is at this price. And if you want a loose stop, then you would use the Senku Span B at 135. I love the fact that this is now included with Metastock. Um, because it fits so well. You know, when I was, I've been here at Metastock for a number of years, like decades at this point. And one of the things that I fell in love with early on was the expert advisor in Metastock called the Candlestick Expert. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with it or not. If you aren't, you should play with it. What it will do is it'll identify all of the individual candle patterns on any given day. And if you go into the commentary, it'll tell you what they're doing, what it means, and help you understand it. There's tons of really, really good experts that do this in Metastock for you, like the MACD one, the RSI, tons and tons of indicators that just help you understand what's going on in the market. And I think this fits really well uh, because not this is a great tool that will help you learn the Ichimoku method, save you thousands of dollars on maybe a trading course, but it will also help you to implement the Ichimoku method. Let me kind of go back into the PowerPoints. Here, we'll just go back a little bit here, and we'll talk about how well it's integrated into Metastock. So with it, of course, you can use it to scan for opportunities. I can actually go in and find just each of Kumo crosses if I wanted. I can find the main signals, the re-entry signals for the Ichimoku. And the other thing that I like about the, the implementation of this is the fact that that score, you remember that bullish, 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 bullish thing we were looking at on the chart just a second ago? It gives you a combined score of all of those occurrences. So when you run in your exploration, you can look for how bullish the Chumoku is in general, um, or how bearish it is in general. It's a score that is actually tallied on that report for you. It also has a system tester. Uh, the system tester will allow you to kind of go in and test different scenarios, like the like what if you took these signals? What if you had loose stops or medium stops or tight stops? How do those work? What securities does it work well on? I just love this particular add-on, and I love the fact that it's included by in Metastock now. Uh, the original designer of Robert Dedman is, or of the Ichimoku, is Robert Dedman. He's created all of the very popular systems in Metastock. You've got the performance systems and the performance systems plus. Those are all now included in Metastock as of 18. Uh, I wanted to include Ichimoku because it's such, in my opinion, such a valuable tool to help you understand what's going on in the market with Ichimoku. You can apply it to any charts. It's going to explain those to you. And I've seen courses over the years that sell for thousands of dollars that'll do the same thing. 
But the other thing that's awesome about the Ichimoku Master is the fact that it will, after you learn about it, it'll help you find the opportunities, it'll help you remember what you're looking at, it'll help you learn through it. And this is just all included as Metastock 19. I think it's a great fit. I hope you play with it. I hope you learn a little bit about this methodology, a very, very popular methodology. And I, I love the fact that it's included in Metastock. So if you're using Metastock now, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you in terms of understanding that methodology. If you want to learn a little bit more, you can find out more on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Metastock. We have longer videos that go through it. Thanks for watching the video today, though. I do hope it kind of gave you some insight into what's going on. I hope to see you at a future one.